Hello, how are you? So today video 55 of my 100 tips in 100 videos. And um, so for those of you watching the video series for the first time, my name is Sabine, I'm a marketing consultant and I help professional women around the world create an online business that will allow them to live and work anywhere. So today I'm talking again about um, online marketing and, di and digital marketing and strategies um, around your website. And um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is about getting ideas for your content. So I mentioned before, you really need to be creating content because that's going to be one of the ways you're going to be found online um, through search engine, through um, publishing your content on social, um, on platforms, different platforms. Um, you will want to create content directly on the, you know, for instance, on Facebook, on Twitter, but you also want to have people to go back to your website. That's really the, the whole point of um, getting interaction on, on social networks, is to get people to get into a conversation, to get them to, get, to want to know you more, to know more about uh, whatever you're talking, your expertise, and um, so you want them to redirect them to your website, so publishing um, promoting the content that you've published on your website is a really good way to do it. And um, I want to give you some tips on where to find ideas for, for the content that you're going to be creating, either video content or written content or even visual content. So you may want to have different um, images with text and you want to share something with them in a visual way rather than written or video. Or even the, audio, the podcast or um, interviews that you may be doing as well. So, um, the best place to, uh, to the two, uh, two favorite places to find um, ideas for new content. The first one is going back to my ideal um, client profile, the, the person. So, I don't know if you remember, I mentioned quite a few videos along the way that I created Kelly. She's um, the person who represents my perfect ideal client. So the person who, you know, I've, I went into quite of a long description of who she is, what she does, but as a kind of inventing a story for her to be able for me to put her in context, in context. So when I need to find ideas about content, I'll think about her and I'll go back to the different uh, profiles, that the, 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 the actual notes that I've um, taken while I was doing the profile. And I go back to the section that I talked about um, what, are, what what is she struggling with, what is what are the um, the issues that she's facing on a day to day basis, either you know uh, personally or in terms of time management, in terms of um, of financial issues, uh, you know whatever issue that may may not, I may um, that I, she that I had put there on, the, on that piece of paper, on that um, profile, I go back to it and think, what can I write around that? And these, my second, <laughs> pretty much at the same level, the second best place to go is on Facebook groups or whichever type of, um, you know, it could be um, on, you know, kind of um, Reddit platform or other kind of Quora platform where people ask questions, you know, how do I do this? How do I get past this stage, how, how would you do this and this? And so you go back to those places where you know that, you know, people facing the same kind of issues that you're either yourself are facing or your um, ideal client is facing and look at the questions that real people ask in real life because sometimes we may, you know, because the, the ideal client is a mix of real life and there's a bit of fiction, we sometimes get worked up and think, oh, you know, that's what they think, that's what they want to, the problem they want to solve, and we forget about what is actually happening now. Maybe in the last two years, things have changed and people have different um, questions or different worries. And what is, what is happening now in your market? So it's a great place to go. Go to Facebook groups that are, you know, not those one full of people promoting themselves, but those are the one where you really have questions, you people asking questions. And look at it and look at the questions that people have and how others have answered them. And obviously you just pick the one where you really feel that you're confident in, you know, you know things that you've been doing yourself and you, you are able to explain in a, 
in a in a in a concise way, in a very um, educated way, and create content around that. So, and when you see more than one, you know, just list all those um, type of questions, and that way you will have content for the next few weeks or few months. So, so I would recommend you know once every two or three weeks go in those pla in those um, places and write down as many questions as you can. And so when you need the, co the co you need a content ID, go back to that list and see if it's still valid. If you know if your knowledge is, um, is related to do those questions, and use that that as a, the best way to to do it, to create content. So that's it for today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow for um, another video series on online marketing and um, living abroad.